Do you lack connection in your everyday devotional and prayer time with God? Are you dissatisfied with your relationship with God? Would you want to learn more of God and His character? Do you want to be more equipped with scriptures to encourage others and yourself? Cutting out the fat of your faith muscle is addressing your excuses and the deception that the enemy may try to use to keep you from moving forward in your faith. Faith is like muscles. We are all born with muscles, but we are not equally strong compared to a bodybuilder. A bodybuilder is someone who works on being fit and strong every day. It is a daily healthy habit and lifestyle that the bodybuilders live by in order to have lean big muscles. Same as our faith muscle, we need to have healthy habits and a healthy lifestyle in order to have lean strong faith. Jesus said that he is our bread of life, and in the Lord's Prayer it says daily bread. Scripture reference, Matthew 6.11 and John 6.35. How do you cut fat off of a steak with a knife? God's word is like a big knife. It says that it is sharp. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword, it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. I don't know about you, but I strive some days to have a sound mind. What is a sound mind? The sound mind referred to in scripture means a well-balanced mind and under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Changing my daily routine and cutting out the fat in my daily faith diet is what truly helped me and honestly has brought a lot of comfort and peace. I want to challenge myself, and if you are willing to challenge yourself as well, then join me in this faith muscle building challenge. The benefits are a more confident you, learn better time management, build a firm foundation in your faith, be less anxious, and be a a better version of yourself. Here's what you need to avoid. No more TV unless it is a faith-centered program or teaching. No complaining. This is hard, but every time you do catch yourself complaining, replace it quickly with something to be thankful for. Example, if I am complaining about something, I quickly remind myself to be thankful and to have fun and name stuff that is typically insignificant and small and say a thank you to God for things such as <laughs> a fork, running water, and a doorknob. As a mentor that I follow faithfully on YouTube is Terry Savelle Foy. She says, the more you complain, the more you will remain. Here, we are trying to move forward in faith, not remain where we are at. Try to wake up earlier than normal, mine over mattress, and being a living sacrifice and a sacrifice of praise is what I tell myself in order to help me get out of bed. This is part of the cutting the fat out of my faith. Eliminating the excuses of sleeping in is part of the cut cutting the fat in my faith. Stop listening to secular music during this time. Why? Because I want every action to be honoring to God and filling up your mind and heart with encouraging and uplifting music. What are some of your excuses? Ask the Holy Spirit to help you be honest with yourself because, because God already knows, but do you? Remember, you can't pour into others unless you are filled first. I hope you join me. Please comment below. You can do this. I know you can. This challenge is during the Lent season of the faith. However, you can do this challenge on your own, on your own time. Lent for 2022 is March 2nd through April 18th, 14th. I will be sharing notes Monday through Friday during this time. Please note, that I am not affiliated with Marty Collier. 
I wrote the notes for conversational purposes. Please do not copy and resale notes. They are freely given. We will be using this book for discussion purposes. If you like my notes, please feel free to email me, warriorprincessofgrace at gmail.com. This book can be found in Amazon. Heads up. After our challenge, we will begin with this new book, Open Heavens by Bill Johnson. We will start our new schedule on April 18th, every Monday thereafter. I hope you sign up. Remember, if you want my study guide notes, please email me. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon.